the phone. Yeah, yeah. Call somebody. Yeah, for Lord. Yeah. I don't know what was wrong. But Come on. Yeah. I thought we had that in me. Have that day. Yeah. You know, and I don't like to even mention it. Yeah. yeah. But I walk out. He said, you'll not go today. Yeah. You'll not get up. Yeah, yeah. And you will not do it no good. And you will wait for this. And I thought, uh, one more time, one more time, I have the honor to prove him to be alive. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
but to steal, to kill, and destroy. He's out to destroy these kids. I'm going to fight for a bunch of them. A couple of ages, I said, I'll never, never I'll preach that much of homecoming. But I'm here for these kids. You might not help everybody. These folks, you can't help. They folks don't want to hear you. Well, Lord.
Even this Sunday year. Yeah. Boy, I need him today, don't you? Yeah. 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 I need him today, don't you? Yeah. 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 Don't you all need him? Come on. Yes, sir. Oh, what you went through in the church. Oh, what people's hurt you. Oh, what God ain't done nothing to you. Forget the things that they have done to you. Yeah. But God said, if we ever get a burden for the church. Come on, baby. Yeah. 
Yeah. He said, God, I ain't leaving here until you're coming out. Yeah. I got things I need you to do for me. Come on. I ain't leaving here until you help me. Yeah. I said, what I made up my hand. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you come in the aisle and say, Lord, yeah. I'm not getting up until you help me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not getting up until you help me. Yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah.
But they don't want to get around sometimes. Yeah. Oh, thank God. I told my dad, I said, Sandy, let me out. I come home and walk up the hill without a breath. Come on, man. I said, what would a matter of shit? Come on. Well, come on. Come on, brother. Yeah. Thank God. Come on. Can I just rub on y'all this little bit? Can I just rub on you a little bit? Can I just rub on you this little bit?
Press forward. Yes. Press forward. Come on. Press forward. Anybody feel like pressing forward? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Take more of your time today. Come on. Come on. Come on. Press forward. Press forward. Yes. To the prize. Yes. I told that little sister last night, I said, here. Went down Alabama. She's standing over that paragon on her. Oh, yeah. Shine that paragon on your baby. Yeah. I seen her getting in. I seen her getting in. We need that power to follow on us today. Yes. We need that power to follow on us Saturday yes. night. Yes. How many babies need that power, power to follow? Yeah. Yeah. Right. We need that power. We need that goodness to help us. Yes. It'll help us. Right. It's brought you through these years. It's brought us through the years. It's helped us. Yeah. It's been there when man's failed. Right. He said, I'll never leave. Never leave. He said, I'll never forsake uh, yeah. Amen. 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 Forget your problem for a while. Let the Lord get me. Yeah, that's good. He Come wants on. to have yeah, He wants to have yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. God. Thank yeah. God. Yeah. 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 Well, I feel so free today. Don't you feel free today?
Brother talked about the depression, anxiety. You know what's right in this church today? Yeah. It's right in these kids and the elders' minds today. Nobody don't care. Forget that. Forget that. Nobody don't want you. Forget that. Nobody don't need you. Forget that. Forget that. Crystal. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
God let me know, brother, if something was going to happen. I didn't know what he wouldn't let me know what he would. But he taught me, I don't want to speak to him. Something's speaking now. I don't know what it is. If I didn't know it was going to be my dear brother. I didn't know it was going to be him, Joe. Tell me what it's going to be. I'd like to. I have no regrets. I'd like to. Well, the niece got down and got to pray in the Holy Ghost. The bedroom, he laid his hand down and said, on the wrist. Didn't feel like he was worthy. I guess you thank God. If God will deal with you, you're worthy. That man asked Richard, said, Can I be saved? He said, Son, if God will deal with you, you'd be saved. Yeah. Right. Yes, mercy, right. You're in this building today, if God will deal with you, you'd be saved. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Come on, yeah. son. They pulled him out on the side of the road on the High Roger Parkway. And he died on the side of the road. So I tell you, I said, he died and never left me no hope. Because the Bible said, if you die in your sins, where I am, where I am, you cannot come. I said, I'm glad I don't have judge no more. Jesus is going to be the judge. Jesus is going to be the judge. I said, if people look, they could see that day and run up there on that Al Rogers Hill right there. If they could see that, if we could see what's ahead of us. Yeah. Wayne, I said, either turn around, you'd have took 421. Yeah. I said, you know what happened to him? That pale horse and his rider would get out across that yeah. mountain. Yeah. They're waiting on him on 421. Yeah. 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 The Bible said he must be born yeah. of the water yeah. and of the Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. We got to save people in this building. 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 Maybe we got somebody that thinks they say. Come on, come on. There's millions of them. Going to these yeah. churches that sign books. Yes. Yeah, you're right, bro. Preacher said, Y'all right, honey, to sign right here. Yeah. The priest said, I'm going to pray your sins away. And what you going to do tomorrow is come back yeah. another year and we'll pray some more. Yeah. That ain't going to get you there. Yeah. Come on, come on. That ain't going to get you there. Yeah. Come on, come on. Was that man called Jesus? Yeah. Yeah. Thank God for Jesus. Yeah. Who yeah. died on the tree. Yeah. Yeah. Died on that rugged tree yeah. to save a lost world yeah. that's rejected him right now. Right. Right. Oh. That don't want him that's treated him so bad. You know what he'll do? You ever seen people treat the Lord so bad? Yeah. There's a guy right back with him. He said the Holy Spirit was mean to him and this and that. He left church and he told the other brother not to come. I said, you know, if he ever comes back to church, this is where he's going to come. He's going to come right there where you can feel some power. He's going to come right there where you can feel some power. Right. 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 I thank you for your teaching. Come on, come on. Come on. Somebody needs to pray to me. Yeah. You don't have the Holy Ghost thing, or get in there. That's right. You don't get in there and dig that out. That's right, The Bible says for you, the children, them that's a fallen off. Yes, yeah. It's been his old heart to call us. Yeah. It called you that yeah. your next step. Yeah. yeah. It said the last day right. before that, brother. We just hope not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brother. Oh, brother. Anybody feel like praying today? Yeah. Right. Right. Someone said, I just pray it. Well, see, I always like getting out. Yeah. 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 I always like getting out or like. Right. Would you like to come and yeah. pray? Come on, give us a song. Give us a song. Give us a song. Come and pray if you will. Don't have the Holy Ghost to cure your loss today. Come and turn your life over. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
same way he speaks to us when we look for him. Well, he speaks to us up there at the same way. I feel that way, bro. He found me more like it. He kept looking for me. He said he came to seek and save that to him, which was lost. And there was no more lost now. I believe mean, Paul said he was chief among sinners. That's how I felt. But you know God loves them too. I, I told somebody, I said, there ain't no fuck the good man trying to be bad or a bad man trying to be good. But I was just a lost man and need to be saved. Oh, I realized that's what the are out there. That it's lost. People need to be saved, brother. No. I mean, I was so far gone, I would walk the railroad track, go back and forth and think people was after me and things. You know, just like that, that demonic, that daddy reading the money, had he lost his mind, you know. But I thought God was willing to restore him one day. After I got arrested and things, I went to take jail, house, brother Jesse, and I bet he was done. I don't know if he saved me yet, I don't believe he did, but I told him with an honest heart, I said, Lord, if you let me out of here, that's fine. If you don't let me out of here, that's fine. I just can't do this anymore. I prayed for help, even as a sinner, and I thought he sent him. I didn't like the way he sent He sent two state police, but they didn't know how he sent it, you know. You don't want to question it sometimes. I thought that it took a while to get in that car, too. It was, it was a little rough, but, you know, I got in there eventually. They were going to win, but I thank God for those two state police now. God will move however God wants to move, I thought. But I got finally, he let me out the next day. I came home and had no shoes over nothing. I don't know why they took my shoes, but the, I didn't have no shoes. I couldn't walk them back, and I thought I was going to have to go back up to the old trailer. Because that's where they wanted me at for a long time. I got so bad I couldn't in my family, and I thought I got there. And my mom and dad said, They said, Go in there and go to bed, son. Go in there and go to sleep. They let me come back home. Yes, I thought that I've been home ever since. They let me come back home, but I guess it was a few more days. It was only Tuesday. I said, I'm going to stay in this bed. I felt so bad. I've been up for so many days, and I kind of just laid there, but I talked to the Lord every day. And I done made, I done made a deal, I guess, you know, with the Lord, which you don't make deals with. And I said, Lord, if I feel anything, because I've been around with you, you have to be you know, I feel it in the Bible now that no man can come to you unless you drive by the Father. I've read everything that I've ever been told now. I've really searched in Scripture now to find out where it's at. But I told him, well, I said, if I feel anything, if I feel one little thing, I'm going to come into that altar. I'm ready to lay this thing down to give you all I got. I got there, and I don't know if they played the first guitar there, but I felt the prayer of God all over me. The tears began to roll. I went in that bathroom because I just I was raised homeless. So I made sure my belt, my pants were tucked in, my belt was as tight as it could be. Because I was going to the altar, and I came back, and I sat down. But I felt the prayer of God get on me more than the girl was sitting beside me. I said, all right now, I'm getting ready to go get saved. And I stood up and put my foot in that altar. I was saved that moment. I said, Jesus Christ, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And I knew it was over. I knew that something had lifted in my heart. I could feel that addiction leave me. It wasn't like before. There was something that swelled up in my chest so much. I knew something was different. I could feel being free. That brother said, being free. I've been free ever since. I've never felt a freedom like this. I've never felt a freedom. I thought I might not have much of this life, but I got everything with it. He said, that's what's up to nothing but happen. You know, I thought I loved everybody so much. I got saved that night. And I've been praying ever since. He's never let go of me. And it's been a hard time, sure. I've made it hard. The way of trying to I didn't understand a lot of things. If I would learn to trust him more, it could have been easier. But there's a lot of dross in there. There's a lot of things when you learn to handle drugs and things to handle all your problems for a long time. But God's been so patient with me. He's put good men in my path to preach to me. He's got, he's got me to learn this child to be defeated. I've had to come back up and realize it was in myself, you know. But I thank God for that. You know, I thought when I got saved, I loved everybody. I was going to the supermarket. I was about to save the hungry people. Go to the people and ask them to forgive me. People that didn't even remember the things I done to them. I said, well, if I've done anything, or they thought anything, please forgive me. If I said something behind your back, I'm sorry. That's true repentance when you love some people. But I thought after that, you know, and I think I hear things that happen in other churches. And I thought, I won't just let that go. You know, won't just let that go. That ain't nothing. And then I begin to get hurt. Then I begin to hurt. A few things happened up the road. And I'd say, well, I forgive them. I forgive them, but that's just something I said. And I learned later on that I had to repent from that. Because that wasn't the truth. I really had to forgive people. I had to pray that out, you know. And then there's a the time you get where you truly forgive people and you learn. You have to. I believe the Bible says, you know, forgive your trespasses and he'll forgive, forgive people their trespasses and he'll forgive you your trespasses. I, he won't even hear you if you don't forgive somebody. you got to be able to forgive somebody or he's not going to answer prayer for you. When I really got that in my heart, yes, I said, I better get them prayed. Make sure I forgive some people. But I love, I love the Lord. I'm not going to get in the way too much more. I thank God. He's still able to have miracles. And I'm thankful to be here. Thankful to be here with everybody.
Joker would testify. We're glad to be in the house of the Lord. Glad to have you. We enjoyed the service today. Wonderful service. Look at the street corner to us. We thought maybe on the way talking to a brother who goes to church. He might not go as much as he used to, Bill. And I told him, I said, it don't matter. He talked about what he used to do. I said, used to ain't no good. I said, you got to finish. Yes. It means something to be able to finish. And I tell him, you know, you can run well for a while. Try to knock you down off your feet, but you got to be willing to stand here and let God lift you back up. I thought that Lord's still moving. And I thought maybe always told our kids we're just about serving God. And maybe had a girl been out and seen a long time now. But maybe a few weeks ago or something, maybe my wife told me, she said, We've been praying for a long time. And I thought my wife told me, she said, Allie Joe's medical. Yeah. I, yeah. I thought she said she's miserable when she wakes up, miserable going out of the town. Yeah. Everything she done, she miserable. And I told my wife, I said, that's why I've been praying. Yeah. You know, I want her to be miserable. Yeah. God's yeah. sake. Yeah. 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 Last Sunday, we yeah. baptized. Yeah. 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 Praise God. Yeah. 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 That's a good report. Yeah. 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 No matter how poor, like little brother talking, I believe that little brother's been out of beach. He didn't tell what he talked. So I tell them, never give up on your kids. Right. Be honest with you, your loved ones. There ain't nobody going to pray for them like you That's do. Fact. Right. If you get, I, I tell them, Bill, you know, yeah. Bill, his kids don't go to church, so I want his girls to get saved. I tell them, Bill, never give up on praying for them. Yeah. That God will bring them in. God is still working. Right. 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 All we got to do is just meet the condition. And, uh, I, I tell them, I'm like everybody else. Sometimes you pray feel like you pray against the wall, but there's never been a prayer that me and you've ever prayed that God's not heard. Right. The Bible said His ears are open unto the righteous. Right. Our cry, and I tell them, God, I appreciate it. I thought maybe years ago, when I was just a young boy, got saved and maybe come down here in the early 90s, I thought, how did I remember, uh, asked the Lord give me a good wife, gave me a good wife, and had two kids, uh, Brother Woody, and I'll yeah. never forget Whenever I had them, I, I, whenever I brought them home from the hospital, yeah. maybe not even their navels fell off ever high it is. But I remember I took them little youngins in that bedroom. I held them up. I, I always remember what I said, Brother uh, Caleb. I said, God, I give you my children. You do what you want with them. But if it's up to me, they don't serve you. I, I, I thought, you know, I, I tell Young people like this. Mamaw's wonderful and Papaw's wonderful. Come on, brother. The preachers are wonderful. Yeah. I, everybody amongst them. But I tell them, get you something that the devil can't talk you out of. Find yes. you an experience. Yes. Get a hold of something and it makes it to go live. Get the parts. And, right. and, you know, the devil's always there. And he'll yeah. talk to you, get saved. He wants to tell us we never got saved. We didn't get nothing. He's always right there to uh, be there to speak to you. But I tell him, if you get a hold of the genuine prayer of God, there ain't enough devils in hell can tell you you never got nothing. I, I, I always told my boy, I'll never forget it. Uh, my wife, boy got saved, about nine year old. And I thought we went years there and he got out of church, got back in, done real good then, stayed in. I thought, how did my wife, she said, it always bothered my mind uh, about uh, never writing down the exact date when my son got saved. And I thought she, she always told me, she said, uh, you know, a mother's love. She said, I want you to make sure that you don't never give that boy no serpent or do something like that. Some said, you know, a mother's love. Oh, I never forget. And she said, uh, one night we went to Poor Valley, been years ago. Went to Poor Valley, and as we walked in, my wife said she didn't just out of the blue. The Lord spoke to her yeah. and said, you better get your pen out. Tonight's going to be the night. All right. I thought how the meet began to go that night, and Tanner, about 15-year-old, yeah. little fella stood there. And, uh, we always uh, make sure that they live good, watch your life, and everybody right. want them to be right. But I thought that night that little fella began to look down at his hands and his color began to change. Yeah. I thought maybe Brother Stephen on one side and Brother Charlie Long and that boy began to hold that rattlesnake and got done holding that rattler, handed it back to us. He kept looking at his hands and he began to walk. And he, Stephen looked at him. 
and said, Tanner, don't be scared of it. It's just the power of God. <laughs> just the power of God. I tell you, you know what we're kept by today? We are kept by the power of God. Right? Amen. That power is what keeps us today. I tell them when the enemy comes, I tell them without a doubt, when the enemy comes to David, when that Philistine was down there, that big giant, you know what? David began to look back and he began to think, when that power of God got on him. Yeah. He began to tell about when he slew the bear and yeah. slew the lion and all the different things. I tell him today, our, our battle ain't like the natural speaking with us natural body. But our battle starts in our mind. We got to have that spiritual mind to be able to fight it. When the devil comes. I thought that was so simple. I, I, I'm just like everybody else. I thought when I got saved, the devil come to me and told me, he said, you never even got saved. Sure I listened to that garbage for about five months or six. And finally one day I got so sick of hearing that. I spoke right back out. The devil woke, got up that morning, got ready to go to work. The devil said, Joe, you didn't even get saved. And I spoke back out. I said, well, devil, if I never got saved, could you explain to me how did I quit all the... Ungodly yeah. things I was doing, I quit cussing, yeah. I quit smoking, yeah. chewing, smoking dope, popping yeah. pills, yeah. doing everything under the sun, stealing. Yeah. And I yeah. said, there ain't nothing in my yeah. body lustful towards nobody. Yeah. 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 It's a godly love. Yeah. I said, could you explain that to me? Yeah. Yeah. You know what happened? I never heard him speak that to me. <laughs> <laughs> he, got, he got on that little trail and he headed out of town. Yeah. Yeah. He had to go somewhere else. Yeah. I tell him like this today. We've got something to fight with. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that word of God today. We love you today. I told Jesse what it was. I said, I hope somebody's got some good yellow dumplings. See, my girl on my mind. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. 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 I have to be among God's people today. I'm, I'm oh. glad I'm one of you. Yeah. Uh, I, I, my mind today was on how yeah. we're all here today and, and we have felt the power of God today. And uh, we, we, that is a great feeling to feel the power of God. Yeah. And I want you to think about this. When you get to heaven, you'll be feeling like you felt Today, if you all felt time. the power of God yeah. all the time. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. Yeah. All the time. All the time. All the time. And not only that, this thought come to me today, we'll be at right now, we walk by faith. We can't see God. We can't touch God. We can't look at God. But we're going to dwell with God. Right, yeah. Yeah. right, brother. Just think about that for a minute. Yeah. We're going to be right with Him. Yes, we are. And that great city will be able to go right in and be right at the throne with Him. And He said He's going to wipe every tear out of the eyes. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Amen. And we're going to be right there. With him, going to serve us, brother. We're not going to walk by faith any longer. Right, right. right now, we're walking by faith right. by our side. Right. But we're going to be able to look right at him. Yeah. No man's ever looked upon God right. and lived. That's right. He told Moses. Yeah. Come on. We're going to be able to look right at him. Ain't that going to be good? Ain't that going to be good? Oh, That's what we're searching for. Just think about how good that's going to be. Yes, I was out on Route 80 one night, and me and Mike T was handing out the sacrament. I don't remember which I had. I had the blood or the uh, the, the wine or the bread, whichever it was. And it was going real good, and it was real spiritual. And all of a sudden, I felt that power come and get on me. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, my eyes rolled right back in my head. And Sister Grace, he said, Terry, I thought you was going to pass out. And I heard a voice speak to me just like I'm talking. <laughs> it said, this is a power. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, man. 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 Come on,
Thank God, thank God. We're going somewhere. That's the truth. Amen. And I want you to think about this. If you go to that awful burning lake of fire, you'll remember everything. Right. You'll remember every single thing here Come on. on this earth. Come on, brother. But if you make it to heaven, the former things will not be remembered. That's the way. You'll have that glorified, brand new body fashion like unto Jesus's. And everything there, including you, will be brand new. Our faith's going to end. What a glorious day. We're going to be there. Yeah. What a glorious day. It's going to be something to work for. That one, that one song said the first day in heaven. Now everybody that arrived here today got in their car and started here and drove here by faith. They said, I know the routes to take to get here. And I'm going to Arrive in ages. We're on our way to heaven. Amen. And we're going to get there. And the route to take <laughs> is on. this Word of God. Right. And if you follow that Word of God, yeah. you can make it all the yeah. way there. Yeah. You can make it there. Yeah. And we got to do that by faith, just like you did today to get here. Yeah. Even if you left home, yeah. And you knew the way here. Way you knew the way. Yeah. And all you knew you had to do was drive to get here. Yeah. And you yeah. know what? You had the faith to believe you was going to get here. Because yeah. you got in the car and came. Yeah. Me and Bill come all the way from London. Mm -hmm. And you know what we did? We had the faith to believe we could get here. Right. I'm telling you today, on, if you go by this right here, you can make it all the way into where God and Jesus is at. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All and feel this good power on yeah, you right. all the time. Amen. Right, brother. Your faith will be over. Come on. When we got here, we didn't have to have faith to believe we was going to get here. Right. We arrived. Yeah. That's my brother. It'll be the same way yeah. when we get up there. Yeah. Oh, you know what he said? He said it. He said, I, I go away. Yeah. And if I go away, I'm going to come back again. Yeah. And he said, I'm going to receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Yeah. I'm walking that way by faith. Right. To believe that he's going to come back again. Now I may go by the grave, I don't know how I'm going to go. But if I if I don't go by the grave. There's going to be something happening, and it's going to happen in a moment in a twinkling of an eye. That's right. Now we are going to be trained. Yeah. Yeah. This mortal is going to put on immortality, and I'm going to rise up in the air with all these other saints. Yeah. Right. And we're going to meet the Lord in the air. Yeah. And you know what? I'm going to forever be with Him. Yeah. Right. And all these good saints that's in the ground, they're going to come up out of the ground. And they're going to go up in the higher with us. Yeah. And we're going to forever be with the Lord. All right. Come on. Yeah. Hey, wow. so give up the seed is going to give up the dead in it. Yeah. Yeah. I think about it. But anybody on that Titanic when it went down in April of 1912 yeah. that had this down in their life, yeah. they're coming out of that 12,500 yeah. feet yeah. on in the bottom of that North Atlantic Ocean, Joe, they're coming up out of there. Right. I said the sea gave up the dead that was in it. They're coming up out of there. Yeah. To meet the Lord in the air. 
Favor to be with the Lord. Yeah. Favor to be with the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just think about that for just a minute. Yeah. We, we're right now, we just, we walk by faith. Yeah, we got faith. We can't see God. No man's ever looked upon him. He told Moses and Leah. That's right. But we're going to be able to walk right in and talk with him. Ain't that good? Yeah. Well, I tell you what, it's worth <laughs> serving. Yeah. It's worth yeah. doing whatever you've got to do to get there. Yeah. And you know what? All he wants us to do is serve him with all our hearts, all of our soul. Yeah. All of our minds yeah. and all of our strength. Yeah. Amen. And when you give him your whole heart, yeah. he said he'd be found with you. Be found with you. So today, it's good to be with you. And uh, and I, I thought as I was sitting here this morning, I said we've been handed down a great treasure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. There's people all over the world. And all down through ages. It's not been handed down what we have been handed down. The knowledge and the wisdom to know how to get a hold of God. And how to live where you can get to where God is at. They worship, Jesus said. You know not what. Well, I'm glad today to be among the true worshipers of God. Yeah. You said, hey, Brother Terry, how do you know you're a true worshiper of God? Uh -huh. Because the true worshipers of God worship God in the Spirit yeah. the truth. and in the truth. Right. Amen. You said, what is the truth? Yeah. The Word of God. The Word of God. Yeah. Yeah. God is the Spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in the Spirit. Amen. You know, many a person today, I told them the other day I was somewhere, and they raised their children from little children. They live in communities, and they believe that they live a certain way and do certain things that they're going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. But without His Spirit, that is true. you're none of His. Right. 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 No, but we went. No, I was saved at Dana Plot. Yeah, I'll pick him up. I'd say you be ready. You go ready. Yeah. These young boys. Yeah. You know what? I'm still going. That's been probably 50 years ago, Dana. Close to it if it ain't been big. And, and, and as I, I went along, I, 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 I have seen a many, a many, a many a thing happen. And there's been a many, a many a thing happen to me. And I've learned a many, a many, a many, a many a thing. But I, I'm, I'm telling you, they told me back then. Back then, yeah. That if you die in your sins, where Jesus is at, you can't come. It's 50 some year later, and I declare to you today, if you die in your sins, where Jesus is at, you can't come. There's going to be only one kind of person that's going to be able to see that man God I'm talking about, and that's a pure heart. Every eye in here is going to behold Jesus. Every knee in here is going to bow. Every tongue in here is going to confess right. that he is lost. Right. But there's only one kind of person that's going to be able to see God, and that's them that's got a pure heart. That's the only kind of person going to be able to go in there into that throne room 
and talk and see God. Yes, come on, there you go. Then it's got a pure heart. I want to tell you today, and some somebody might not like this, if this word offends you today, it'll catch you in the judgment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I said if this word offends you today, mm -hmm. it'll catch you in the judgment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It'll keep your heart yeah. from being pure. Yeah. Come on, come on. Right. It's true. Yeah. Only the pure in heart is going to see God. It felt so good to be amongst the believers. Yeah. It felt so good to be amongst you. It felt so good to be one of you. Yeah. Yeah. David said, I thought what the Bible said, David said, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Yeah. It felt so good. Yeah. And it was so pleasant to be amongst you. That's yeah. right. I, 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 it just done my heart good to be here with you. Yeah. And I thought about, you know, uh, when the enemy buffets you, yeah. and, 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 he, and he tells you all these things, and see, he knows we don't want the world. He knows we don't want the things of the world, but you know when the enemy buffets us, it's in our mind. And when he tells you all these things that he tells you, and he tries to show you all these things he tries to show you in your mind, you think of this. And you tell him this. I know that I'm on the right track yeah. because the ones that went before me held to this and they, without a doubt, made it. Yeah. And I'm trying to hold to the same things that they held to yeah. and I believe I can make it too. Right. Right. Yeah. We, can make it. we can make it too. We can make it. They blazed out the trail for us. Right. This is a homecoming day. It's a good day for you to think about the old brothers right. that blazed this out for us. Yeah, all, all was that went on, and I, I think we could just go on and on and on and on and on and on and on, and on, and on talking about them. But they blazed out this trail for us and laid out a path for us to follow. And we, when we think about them, we know without a doubt in our hearts that they had the real thing. Right. And it worked for them. I and mean, when the enemy buffets you so hard in your mind and tries to tell you <coughs> all them things he tells you, he tells us all the same way. Yeah. You tell him you know better because they made it and you can too. Right. <coughs> they made it right. and you can too. Right. <laughs> Everything that's not of God will come to an all. Right. Yeah, that's right. But it'd be right. Everything that's not of God will come to an all. Yeah. We know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a doer of his will, him does he hear. Yeah. These old people that's went ahead of us and blazed this trail for us right. and taught us about praying and getting a hold of God and getting a hold of this power and showed us what this was. God heard them pray, answered their prayers for them. God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a doer of his will, him does he hear. Right. That's how we know for a lot of shadow of a doubt right. that they were right. And when the devil tries to tell you any other way, you tell him that scripture. That's what Jesus fed him with. Yeah. The word. The word. Word. Yeah. Yeah, word. He fed him with the word, Joe. That's what you'll have to fight him with too. Yeah. With the word. Yeah. With the word. He'll tell you. He'll tell you everything. He knows you don't want the word. Right. The world. He knows you don't want to do the things of the world. He knows you don't want to do all these other things. But He wants to fight your mind. That's what He wants to fight. And He wants to bring you down in your mind and tell you all these things. And you'll have to tell Him just like I say. You've got to resist it. <coughs> you, and you say, how do I resist the enemy? How do I do that? Submit yourself, therefore, under God. Under God. 
resist the devil. Resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. You may say, hey, Brother Terry, how do I submit myself unto God? You laying in the bed of the night. You wake up at any hour of the night. And all of a sudden it comes to you, get up and pray. Submit yourself to God right. and get up and pray. Right. Because probably the next day, the enemy is going to come to you. And he's going to trouble you greatly. And if you submit yourself unto God and get up and pray, you're going to be able to fight the devil. Because you submitted yourself unto God. You got up simply and prayed. Now you may not be able to pray and feel the Holy Ghost move on you. And you may not get in the Spirit and hit roll out of you like a tape recorder. But you submitted yourself unto God. You may, sisters may be in the house working. I hope you're listening to me close. And it may come to you. Pray. Stop what you're doing and pray. Me and Bill sometimes would be working. He said, Terry, let's, let's pray. We're just getting out. Stop sure. praying. Because it's, it's always better <coughs> to be obedient unto God. Because right, right. you never know when you're going to need God. Right. And if you submit yourself unto God, yeah. then you can resist the devil. Yeah. And he'll flee from you. Right. But if you don't submit yourself unto God, and you try to resist the devil, now here's what happens. Mm -hmm. You'll try, the devil will come to you. You try to say, devil, get away from me. The first thing will come to you. I felt like praying last night in the middle of the night, and I didn't get up and pray. Yep. I felt like praying when I do my housework. I didn't pray. I felt like calling sister so and so or brother so and so. I didn't call them and talk to them. Right. I felt like going and seeing so-and-so in the hospital sick, checking on them, but I didn't go. Right. Smith yourself therefore unto God. Resist the devil. Right. And he'll flee from you. It gets awful quiet only one of them. Come on, brother. Listen. But you know what? If we do these things, God will work with us. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, right. Amen. And and your 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 Christian walk will be so much brighter and easier for you yeah, if you do what the Word of God says. That's right. You said, "How do you know it's like that, Terry?" Well, I've been at it fifty years, and I found out from experience if I don't do what I'm talking to you about, everything I'm telling you happens. Yeah. Because here's what Terry's done. You wake up in the middle of the night out of a dead sleep. He'll come to you, get up and pray. Here's what the flesh and the devil tells you. Just say you a little prayer. Pull that cover up around your neck. And you can just say you a little prayer and go on back to sleep. And I'd say within 30 seconds, I'm right back to sleep. And you know what? I ain't hardly prayed at all. I probably got out, Lord Jesus, please help your good children and help my children and help somebody else and I'm right back to sleep. Now anyone coming to God must believe that He is and that He is the just rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Now who have I diligently seek? So the thing you've got to do when you feel that teaching to get up and pray yep. is get up and pray. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Now you, like I said, you may not feel the Holy Ghost move on you. You may not get to speak in tongues for 15 minutes. And you may not feel the Spirit move on you and hit roll out of you like a paper recorder or prayer. But you've been obedient unto God. 
Whomsoever you yield your members' instruments to obey, right. that's who you serve. Yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. I, 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 I think sometimes, Caleb, the enemy, he don't work in no <coughs> super, super smart way. He don't work in no complicated way. The enemy works in a very common way. This is a common salvation. Yes. And the enemy works in a common way to try to take it and hinder you from getting a hold of the spirit and power of God. And what we have to do is humble ourselves. I hear what the Bible says. And I'm sorry I'm keeping on going because it just keeps coming to me and coming to me. He said, let every soul be subject unto a higher power. You say, hey, Brother Terry, what does that mean? What are you subject unto? Are you subject unto yourself? Are you subject unto someone else? Are you subject unto God? He said, let every soul be subject unto a higher power. If we subject ourselves unto God, we can go where He's at. There won't be nobody up there where He's at that's not been subject unto Him. One of that would be. There won't be a soul up there where he's at. It's not been subject unto you. And it's up to us. When God made us, we're free. Right. More agents. Yep. And it's up to us to get ourselves in subjection Amen. unto God. Yes, yes. You get up every day and you can do whatever you want to. Yes, you can choose what you want yes, to do. Yes, yes, yes. And you know the devil, he'll tell you this right here. He's told me this a many times. You can't do this and you can't do that. Because of this and because of that. But that's a lie. That is a lie. That's a lie. We can do everything that the Word of God says to do. <coughs> we just have to subject ourselves unto it. Amen. Bill tells me, he said, Curry. This is all about humbling yourself down and doing what the Word says to do. Now, I'll tell you how much Jesus had to pray to do it till his sweat became as great drops of blood. Yeah, it took him three times. To get himself humble enough to do the will of the Father. That's something to think about. Now, if I don't pray... I'm not going to be too subjective to God. And the number one reason why it's so hard to pray, I said the number one reason why it's so hard to pray is because the devil knows if you pray, it's going to help you be subjective unto God. And if you don't pray, you will not be subjective unto God. Right. This place will overtake you somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. If you walk in the Spirit, mm -hmm. 
you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. I'm trying to hug Jesse, but it just keeps coming to me over and over again. It, Bill tells me we talk to each other a lot. A lot. He said, they pray. If me and you don't pray, we ain't going to make it. People say, I don't feel like praying. That's a good time to pray. Yeah, yeah. Being everywhere up to pray and not pray. Yeah. Yeah. Pray when you don't feel like it. Yeah. Pray anyway. Right. Pray anyway. If you have to make yourself pray, pray anyway. If you're praying one time a day, try to add on another prayer. If you're praying three times a day, try to add on another prayer. The more you pray, I sing that on song a lot, the better you'll feel. And the more you pray, the more subject unto God you can get. Because, like I said, if you walk in the Spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Now here's the way it is. To be carnally minded yeah. is dead. Yeah. To be spiritually minded yeah. Life and peace. Life and peace. Yeah. If you're going around and your life is tore up all the time, and you're just tore up and seem like everybody you run into is poking you, and you're just tore up all the time, yeah. it's because you've got a good car of mind. Yeah. But to be spiritually minded, Life and peace. Yeah, yeah. And be carnally minded is dead. Yeah. I've, I've worked men before. They get out of the pit up in the morning, and it's just like they kicked themselves because they woke up. They yeah. was mad. Yeah, right. First thing in the morning. They just upset. Ain't got no peace about it. Ain't got no life in peace. And when you start talking to them, that scorning and negativity just flows out of them, and uh, it's like a bitter fountain. Mm -hmm. They ain't got no peace. No. To be carnally minded is dead, and to be spiritually minded, life and peace. Life and peace. Yeah. Boy, I sit so much here, I gotta sit down. <laughs> If you think about it today, you want to go where God is at, get subjected to it. Right. You just think about how good that's going to be. Yeah. You think about how good you felt, you let your mind go back to the best you ever felt with the Spirit of God moving on you. That's the way it's going to be all the time in here. All the time. Would that be good or not? Would that be worth it all? Have you worth it all? Have you worth it all? If we got something to really look forward to, we just hang on. Amen. Amen. That's good. I'm glad to be here today. I feel like I'm among God's chosen people. I'm glad I'm one of them. I'm glad I'm one of them. I'm I couldn't think of that word I was trying to think of earlier. It's compassion. Jesus was moved with compassion. Right. Many compassion. Many, many more compassion. 
Testify. 